It's time for The Breakaway, presented by Frontier Communications. Thanks, guys. Fernando, you're known for your larger-than-life personality on and off the field, but uh, it's, it's important to always remember where you come from, and I know that you have never forgotten your beginnings in Nigeria. You used to go play soccer in the street in your bedroom slippers, lying to your parents. <laughs> what do you remember about that time in your life? Uh, I mean, I just remember that I get beaten a lot, you know, <laughs> because uh, when I was sent on, a, on an errand, I just, uh, I forgot about the errand entirely and I, I go playing soccer on the street, you know, so uh, they were all, all good moments, you know, um, of course, uh, as little kids, uh, you have passion for the game and uh, you see professional players playing on TV and uh, you, you're dreaming about being in that position someday. So it was uh, part of my life, but uh, not that I didn't run those errands, though I play and go back run the errands, but <laughs> it, was, um, it was a nice moment of my life. Uh, and a person you were very close to, your sister, would lie for you, help <laughs> you get to where you needed to be for soccer when your mm -hmm. parents were insisting that you're in school. What was your relationship like with your sister back then? Uh, mommy, I spoke to her on the phone before getting into the studio, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, we have a very good relationship, uh, you know. She's, uh, she's the only sister I got, you know. The, um, of course, uh, the person right next to me, but um, uh, she's just an amazing person I have in my life, you know. And, uh, of course, she was for, uh, there for me when I needed her most, you know, uh, to lie to my auntie and my uncle that I was going to see my grandmother. But, you know, she's just an amazing person that uh, till today uh, we laugh, we joke, and we do things together. Of course, uh, we've grown now to be adults, and uh, she's got a family, and uh, also I have a family of my own. So, But our relationship has always been a, a great one. She lied for you so you could go to Lagos, right? To <laughs> go for a tryout and meet with an agent that really got your career going. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, she so did. that's a big one. And another family member that I know you have a special relationship with, your grandmother, mm -hmm. who you shared a room with until you were 16 and went to Slovakia. And I remember you telling me in the first interview we ever did together about a dream you had and you telling her in the early morning hours mm -hmm. about going on to play professionally. What was the dream and what was her reaction? I mean, uh, basically, um, you know, um, I always watch football on TV and 24 hours I'm trying to go play football on errands. I'm going to play before going to run errands. So it was just uh, something I had in my gene and, you know, something I really, really wanted to do was on my heart for a very long time. So as a kid, you know, um, when you dream and you're sleeping next to your grandma, you just, when you wake up, that's the first thing you remember, you got to tell her. So, uh, of course, uh, I, I had thoughts of playing football even before I went to sleep. So, uh, you know, in the middle of the night, dreaming, and uh, I just woke up uh, the next morning, I told her that uh, I dreamt I was going to play soccer in, uh, in Europe uh, after I'm out of... Uh, uh, secondary school and she was like oh who's going to take you there you know <laughs> right <laughs> yeah she she said who's going to take you there i say just watch and see it's going to happen some way you know and uh, lucky for me you know i saw i dreamt of it and uh, it happened and uh, today here i am what do you, what is her reaction when you guys talk about that that night now when no, I mean, you're like you i told you it was going to happen i mean she sounds pretty exciting she she just really laughs about it and uh, she she gets uh, she gets really surprised that uh, as a very young kid i could dream of that and uh, i put my uh, heart and everything towards it uh, to achieve it so uh, she just laughs about it but and uh, you know but for her she told me is uh, uh, you got to still go to school, you know, for her education is like something really, really big because, you know, we have a short career as personal soccer right. players, you know, and life begins when you're out of uh, your playing period. So uh, uh, she just laughs about it, but she told me that um, I have to do it right. You know, I just have to play right, invest right, do the right things uh, because she doesn't want me to see me go back. Uh, uh, back to the to the place where I was uh, 15 years ago, you know. So I just have to do the right thing to make her happy. Aww, love that. And so I know that giving back to your village in Nigeria is very important to you, and something that you've been active in during the off seasons. Mm -hmm. You recently opened a church, correct? Um. Yeah. No. No. Open. Uh, you I built? Mean, yeah, I'm building a church. So, you know, it's, uh, it's one of the projects I, I really uh, thought of doing. Um, it's something I also dreamt of. You know, I made a promise and uh, I said, 
If I was going to play a very high level football where I am today, I promised to build a church to God. I made a promise to God, of course. So, um, you know, uh, and being in the situation I am today, uh, I think um, uh, I had the, uh, the financial ability and the courage uh, to do that. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, a much, it's a very massive project for me. I was there last year in December to see it. And, uh, of course, my auntie handles the project and everything is going pretty smoothly. So when do you anticipate it actually being opened? Um, it should be done um, uh, this year, definitely before December, because uh, I also have to go there to commission the church and uh, give it to the to the organization, to the church, and to the people. So uh, you know, it's a, it's a it's a very big project for me, and um, I'm very excited about it. Well, we're excited to see when it opens, and thank you so much for coming on Timbers and Thirty today. Good luck this weekend against Dallas. Thank you very much.